The unexpectedly strong resistance put up by the Wake Island coastal artillery and remaining aircraft forced the Japanese fleet to retreat. The island's garrison suffered very few losses. Realizing that the first landing attempt was premature, the Japanese continued bombing the island. Three Wake Island airplanes were launched when the radar picked up approaching enemy planes. Escape from serious damage may be attributed to the effectiveness of AA fire and the heroic actions of fighter pilots, who would never fail to push home attacks against heavy fire. The performance of these pilots is deserving of all praise. They have attacked air and surface targets alike with equal abandon. That none has been shot down is a miracle. Their planes, two now remain, are full of bullet holes. Two forced landings, fortunately without injury to pilots, have occurred with loss of planes. Commander Winfield Scott Cunningham, officer in charge, all naval activities, Wake Island. 